Number four on the QR code review is asking us to look at basic polynomials like y equals x to the fourth for part A and y equals x to the seventh for part B and to perform some transformations. So the thing that you want to be able to do is look at this equation and then know exactly what the graph is going to look like. So now they gave you sort of this ghost outline of x to the fourth and x to the seventh. And you should know that since this is a positive uh, leading coefficient and an even exponent, that it's going to be rising on both sides. Same thing here. If it's a positive and an odd, it's going to be rising to the right and falling to the left. So you, for part A, you want to be able to recognize that this minus sign is going to take it and do a reflection over the x-axis, so a reflection over the x-axis. You want to know that this plus 3 is going to move your entire graph to the left 3 units, and this plus 2 is going to move your graph up 2 units. So let's go ahead and do all of that. So if I reflect it over, move it 3 to the left, 1, 2, 3, and 2 up, that means I would be hanging out right over here. I'm also noticing that if I go over one and up one, then that point is on my graph. And then right one and up one, that point is on my graph. And then from here, I'm just gonna do my best to sketch the quick version of what this might look like. Now you could use the calculator and find some table of values, but all it really wanted was a sketch. And so that's good enough for a sketch. As long as you give me like three easy clear points, then that's good enough. Okay, down here, right? Uh, you have to know that uh, x to the 7th is being transformed to 2 times x to the 7th and minus 1. So you got to know that that 2 is going to be a vertical stretch by a factor of 2. And you got to know that that minus 1 is going to move your graph down one unit. Okay, so let's move it down one unit. Okay, cool. And then over 1, up 1, that point's on the graph. So now I'm going to go over 1 and up 2. So that point's going to be on my graph over one, down two, that point's gonna be on my graph, and I'm gonna do my best to try to stretch this guy out a little bit here, and kind of look something like that. So again, it's just a quick sketch, but as long as you're giving me points that I can clearly see, and you are describing what this is, what's happening in the function, then you're doing it correctly.